Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome to my channel. I have a homeschooling video for you guys today. And if you follow my channel for a while, then you know and may have noticed that I did not do a homeschool curriculum choices video for my soon to be seventh grader. And mostly that's because we have so much carryover from what we did in sixth grade that I didn't really feel like it was different enough to make a separate video about it. Something that we have tried to incorporate into her curriculum, no matter what other things we were using, is some type of logic, critical thinking curriculum. So today I have a couple different options I'm gonna share with you guys. The one that we have used the most, and then a few other options if you're looking for something different. Um, so something that I've done with my youngest daughter for years now, and I've shown in previous videos, is this Mind Benders book by Critical Thinking Company. This is level five, which we are about halfway through, and then there are actually um, eight books in this series. So we still have a few more years of these to go. We don't stress about doing one an entire school year. We don't necessarily do it every single day. Um, we just kind of go at it one at a time, and they're really fun. They're challenging, even for me sometimes, and I think it's a really good way, especially in the morning to um, maybe add to your morning time, your morning basket, to kind of get your brain going and ready for the day. So there are eight books in this series, like I said, and they are basically working with deductive reasoning. So process of elimination to figure out, you know, maybe they'll give you the first names of some people and some clues and you have to figure out the last name. Or like in this one, it looks like where this person lives and what job they have. So you have to use the little um, story here that they give kind of to uh, eliminate certain options you cross them off on the chart and then when you're done you can check your work with the answer key and see if you got the right answer so we have loved those and I think these are even fun for adults so I highly recommend mind benders you can get the physical book there's also ebooks online and they're less than $12 so a great resource um, and I love critical thinking company because they offer so many different types of workbooks and um, skills that you don't necessarily see from other companies. So I really love that about them. We really enjoyed uh, their history curriculum with my oldest um, when she was a senior. So I love Critical Thinking Company. So that's just an option of theirs that we have used that I wanted to share with you guys. So Mindbenders uses deductive reasoning to solve the problems while Think Analogies uses the relationship of words to classify words by relationship category structure um, and I haven't used this one yet but flipping through it we have done different analogies books in the past they say this is a really good option to prepare you for standardized testing whether your state requires it throughout the child's um, homeschooling career or maybe it's just preparing for the ACT and the SAT I've heard that it's really important to have um, a really good grasp of analogies and how they work um, for those test taking abilities and so this would be a great option for that. There are two books in the Think Analogy series and the same with the Mindbenders. You can opt to get the printed book or the ebook. Uh, but since there are two books in this series, book A1 is for grades three through five and book B1 is for sixth grade and older. They're both around $13 each and because they do focus on analogies and the relationship of words to each other, I think it's a really great option to maybe add to your language arts curriculum, no matter what other curriculum you're using. I think this is a great option. If you're looking for maybe something that uses more numbers and math logic skills, the Balance Benders workbooks are a great option anyway, but if you wanna add them to whatever math, math curriculum you're using, I think it's a great option. There are three books in this series starting in fourth grade. You can use these activities as quick, fun logic problems or as a stepping stone to success in algebra, which I think is really gonna be helpful. Students develop problem solving skills and pre-algebra skills because they are analyzing each balance to identify the clues and then uh, solve the puzzle based on the information. So another really great option from Critical Thinking Company, and again, it comes in the ebook option or the printed workbook option for less than $11. So you're getting these really great workbooks that you can add into your curriculum. They're really flexible. You can do them a few times a week and do them in the morning, maybe on the weekends or over the summer. And they're all really affordable, which I especially appreciate. So if you have an older student and you're wanting to really deep dive into critical thinking and analytical thinking skills, then you may want to check out practical critical thinking for grades 12, grades nine through 12. So obviously this is for a much older child or a very, very advanced middle schooler even adults. It's a very thick book. It is $40, but as you can see, it's a big book. I think there are 384, yeah, 384 pages of logical, logic, practical thinking, deep, deep thinking, analytical thinking skills in this workbook. Basically, the practical critical thinking workbook is going to give your child a strong foundation in comprehension, analysis, communication, 
evaluating evidence, problem solving, arguments, and more. So definitely a much more elaborate, much more complicated deep dive into critical thinking skills. And maybe this book will be something you can add, you know, to your curriculum, do a couple times a week, and it might even last you all four years of high school, depending on how you decide to incorporate it. But a great option that I feel like critical thinking and um, deductive reasoning and word analysis and being able to use your brain in all different ways is super important and i think it's a skill that most people don't have i think far too many people have far too little common sense these days and they just don't think and i mean i'm obviously i'm not perfect i don't i don't always think things through either but i think starting young um, and working with these different types of puzzles and different types of word problems and critical thinking problems is really going to be helpful to your students and to you and I think even as if you're older even as the parent or the grandparent I think a lot of these things are going to be good just to help you keep your mind sharp so I really think pretty much all of these books are for most ages and there is a book and a different type of book for every single age group so I highly recommend Critical Thinking Company like I said we use their we've used the mind benders for years and then we use their um, U.S. History Detective for books one and two for my oldest when she was in high school. It's basically a survey course of U.S. history and it was a great way to round out her um, United States history education and as a senior um, to really, you know, make sure that the things we talked about before kind of brought back up into her mind. And I love the approach of it. If you haven't seen that video yet, it's a really different approach to teaching history. I will link that video for you guys if you want to see a flip through of that but we really enjoyed that and i mean I, it's a few years away now before i have to worry about that with my youngest but i i definitely feel like that's on our radar for sure to do with her um in high school as well i highly encourage you guys to check out critical thinking company's website not just for logic books but really there are so many i mean it's kind of overwhelming when you go on the website there are so many workbooks for so many different topics i actually just purchased uh, their what would you do book there's two books in that series I believe and it's basically a series of ethical based questions like um, if you go to the store and they give you back too much change what do you do do you keep it do you give it back you know ethics based questions that we're going to be pairing with one of our bible curriculum uh, that we're going to be using next year so highly encourage you guys check out critical thinking company whether it's for these logic books and analogies books or anything else that you may want to be looking anything else you may be looking for as a full body curriculum, or if you're looking for supplements to add into whatever curriculum you're already using, I definitely think you'll find things on their website that you find interesting and that you will love as much as I have loved the things that we've tried from them. So I will link their website for you guys below. If you're interested, make sure that you check out my homeschooling playlist. I will also link that for you. Every homeschooling video I've made in the past is in that playlist and there are tons of them. We've been homeschooling now for nine, eight and a half, nine years. So quite a few videos in that playlist to hopefully help you along your homeschooling journey. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.